Hello and welcome. I'm Sean Day, service technician here at Balif Incorporated. Today I'd like to uh, go over some of the uh, object detection sensors that we use in our welding program. So what we have here today is a, is a uh, tra uh, trailer hitch, a class two type trailer hitch that we've made smaller to, to demonstrate how we can error proof this in a weld cell process. So as you can see here, we have a couple different types of sensor technologies. And in this particular case here, we are using a ballast through beam. And we're looking to make sure that this whole structure has been punched out. And so also to take that a step further, you can see where we've taken the through beam and we've used specific prox mounts and, and mounting bunkering to protect the sensor. Because if we have hostilities in this area, weld spatter, for example, um, we don't have to worry about that damaging the sensor itself. We, we can let that, that spatter uh, take on the actual bunkering part of the application. Uh, taking it a step further, we can pull this off of here, this hitch, and you can see where we have different simulations of proximity sensors, so different fit and form factors. For example, here we're using what we call a self-bunkering prox. You can see the feature here on this sensor where it's where it's countersunk down in there, and this is actually a deflection ring. And what that is is when you don't have when you're not able to use a, uh, a like a bunkering or you don't have the real estate to put more protection on a sensor, this is your sensor to go to because it'll actually deflect the uh, the impact it can take on on that sensor there. Um, we can show you an example of a flat pack steel face sensor with weld field immune and factor one circuitry. We have the silicone tubing to combat the type of weld spatter that is common in a MIG welding application. And then our go-to barrel style sensor has the Sun 73 protective ceramic coating. A very good coating that deals with uh, the weld spatter and actually has a thermal barrier up over 450 degrees to uh, keep it from burning through the, the actual coating. Um, back here, let's go ahead and put the uh, put, put the um, hitch back on. And if we come into here, this what we would do here is is we would hold this hitch before we would weld it, and we would have a cylinder that could come out here, hold this fixture tight before we do any kind of welding around the actual hitch. And in this case, we can take our cylinder and we have some cylinder switches that can tell us is this in, in the extended position or is it in the retracted position. And, and you can use this valve in, in, a, in an automated process. We would use uh, this valve bank to actually work this, this, this cylinder back and forth. We have a smart light back here where we can actually interface with our IO link, our IO link master. And then we have an IO-Link actuator hub that takes all of our IO into here and interfaces with our PLC. Our indicator light can be used for various, various different things. For example, it can tell us if this part is completely seated down here where it needs to be. It can tell us that, the cust it, that there's, a, there's a problem over here with a sensor and it's red. It tells us that maybe we're not ready to actually start the process of welding. A few additional features here, as you can see over here, is some of the different types of cable that Balif offers. Um, some customers can, can use silicone in their plant and some cannot, so we offer silicone variations. We offer PTFE, high temp. Uh, we offer the miniature style inductive proximity for areas that are tight, like in gripper areas that are holding things down. And of course, over here, we have what's called a bunker block. And this bunker block, again, is set up to where it can have, uh, it's got a copper cladded coating. It's real slippery and it will combat weld spatter. And again, we want to protect the sensor as much as we can uh, to uh, alleviate any hostilities that are going to give us downtime in the application. For more information, please visit Balif.com.